Have you driven through your neighborhood and there's that one house that stands out and you just wanna know who lives there, why is it abandoned? Well, today you're in luck because we're gonna talk about how to find the owner of that property. Hey, this is Brandon with ReSimply. I wanna welcome you back to the YouTube channel. If you guys get value out of the video or you enjoy our channel, we'd love it if you'd smash that like button and feel free to follow the channel and turn your notifications on so you can know when our new videos are coming out all about real estate. So today we're gonna to talk about what is skip tracing. So in the beginning, I talked about those houses in your neighborhood you drive by, they're either abandoned or they're not in good shape and you wanna know who owns it how do I get in touch with that person? And you've done everything you can and you can't figure it out. Well, guess what? Today is it. Here's your answer. It's called skip tracing. If you don't know what skip tracing is, it is a service where you can put in information about a property, as much information as you have, address, city, state, zip code. The skip tracing company will then give you the owners of the property the phone numbers that they believe are associated with the owner, and then even some services even have email attached to it as well. Um, what's really cool, ReSimply has all of that built into our CRM. So if you're driving for dollars or you have mail and you have this property that you wanna know, you can simply click it, hit a button, and within a couple seconds, have a file and have all the information. And so what's cool is once you've skip traced it, you then have to call all of the phone numbers. Unfortunately, it is not exact to where 123 Main Street, here's the owner, the phone number is this, because you know people change phone numbers, people give out poor information because they don't want other people to reach them, and people do make their information difficult to hide, but good skip tracing services can find all of that out for you. So if you're out driving for dollars, if you're walking with your family, if you're riding a bike, and you see that distressed property in your neighborhood, then write the address down. I love to use my phone on hikes or walks with my family, and we write street addresses down, and then we come home, and we skip trace them, and then we just call them right there. I don't waste time to do it. And so if you're looking to get into it, and what's cool, skip tracing costs pennies. 10, 15, 20 cents, depends on your service, and it depends on how many of them you're doing at one time. And so it's a really inexpensive way to get started in trying to talk to sellers. So if you're new to real estate and you don't understand how to find people's houses and their information, then write the address down and go into a software like ReSimply or Google other skip trace services or reach out to people in your market and say, who do you use to skip trace? Plug that information in, get the phone numbers and get to dialing so that you can get to your next deal.